Jeez. pretty sweet. This, this deck's going to be pretty exciting to watch. Uh, four of Gravecrawler, Drops Messenger, Phantasmal Image, The Captain, Diagraph Ghoul, Gets Verdict, Tragic Slip. He has some Mortar Pods, some Obliterators, some Fume Spitters. One thing I don't like about the deck, though, only 21 land. These decks have, have always had too few lands and always need more. All right, and uh, Milton J. Figura is playing Illusions. This is not Delver. We do see a turn one Delver, but he has Phantasmal Burrs. Wow. He has Lord of the Unreal. Merfolk is, Looter. Yeah, I'm, this deck is very similar to the deck that we saw Adam Prozac uh, finish in second place at the Invitational League. Yeah. And actually, Milton top aided um, the Open in Atlanta that I was doing coverage for with this exact same deck. So he's been resisting the Spirits plan. He's 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 been resisting uh, he's been resisting it all, and and actually just playing Bears and Lords. And I mean, it's working out pretty well this game. Yeah. Now those Delvers, even though they're just one ones right now, you know, it's kind of like playing an Aaron Ephemeron when you're playing a deck like this right. because you have you know you only have 15 cards to flip it, so you're only one in four to flip it. But when you do, it's just so sick. Yeah, it's just almost, so. almost. I mean, if it flips next turn, he's facing down six flying power on turn three. Jay is. All right, Milton takes two, falls down to 18 here. Grave Crawler crawling in for two damage. Ooh. Whoa. Mortar Pod. That's a big game right now. <laughs> Milton can't like that. Mortar Pod is one of the reasons to play this black deck because it, it just makes such good use of that card, and it's so good against Delver. Chooses to uh, use the Mortar Pod right away. And uh, no flip for Milton again. Yep. Milton looking like he's sitting with a Snapcaster, <laughs> another Bear, a Vapor Snag, a Phantasmal Image in his hand. So his, his hand is loaded with gas, but n none of it is really very good against Mortar Pod. Not at all. And I mean, Mortar Pod is especially good when you're playing Grave Crawler. Oh, yeah. And if you uh, read Building on a Budget, I wrote about this somewhat recently. The interaction between uh, Mortar Pod and Grave Crawler. Not too shabby with Drops Messenger either. Not at all. So Jay has a Diagraph Ghoul. Adds that's that to the board. Art of that Diagraph Ghoul. It is. You know these promo art cards they've been having for the new sets. Pretty they, sweet. They look awesome. Yeah. So just to give you a little update on the board, Jay has a Mortar Pod, two Swamps, a Grave Crawler, and a Diagraph Ghoul. Uh, Milton is sitting on two Phantasmal Bears and two Islands. With a handful of blue spells. Jay flying out of 12 here. Getting hit by a couple of bears. Yep. And no land, just says go. Vapor Sag and Snapcaster in hand. Expect Jay to crash over four here before he uh, starts deciding how he's going to handle that mortar pod. Um, probably wants to attack first here. Yeah, and see, that's... That's exactly that's why. why. Yep. So, Jay goes to equip the Mortar Pod, but gets Vapor Snagged, dropping himself to 11 life, and now he'll probably be forced to keep that Diagraph Ghoul on defense. Yeah, he's just going to be forced to trade it, and then he's going to have to just replay the Grave Crawler. Oh, wow. Uh, that's a really aggressive attack. Like, if you're putting a Snapcaster Mage or a Vapor Snag, like, at any point from this point forward, you're kind of just killing yourself. Right. Milton will attack Jay to at the very least seven life. Uh, and Jay's actually lucky it's not more. He's lucky Milton doesn't have a Lord of the Unreal. All right. Milton just has another island and says go. Uh, he does have a Vapor Snag in hand. Flash oh, another down. one. Okay. Yeah. yeah. So Milton's probably got this one. Yeah. I, now, see, if Jay had just kept that 2 2 back, Milton would have had to Vapor Snag on his turn if he wanted to. If, if you wanted to get in, or trade off. But Jay's not sure who the beatdown is, just goes for the attack, goes for the equip, and <laughs> he's dead. He is dead. Unless, of course, he has another land. Yeah, he can also have a tragic slip. He does have four copies of his deck. Yep. And yeah, I think that was it. I think he just pulled it to the front of his hand.
And just like I was saying, Jay Roman, light on land, just is not playing enough land to reliably hit all his land drops. And when you have mortar pods in your deck and grave crawlers, that's really all you want to do sometimes. Yeah. Bill in picks up the first game. His illusion deck. Yep, Jay, Jay may be playing a little too aggressively. We'll, I will see if he fixes that for game two. That's uh, 355 magicians in the room today. Millen would prefer to be called an illusionist. <laughs> <laughs> He's no common magician. No. So, looking at the player's sideboards, uh, Jay Roman has Surgical Extractions, uh, one Nile Spell Bomb, some Corrosive Gales, Flash Freezes, Disperses, a full set of four Disperses, and uh, one of each of the swords, a War and Peace and a Feast and Famine. What do you think we'll see from him? Uh, he'll probably bring the Nile Spell Bomb. It's pretty good against the, the uh, Moorland Haunts. Yep. Um, Corrosive Gale. Because, I mean, he probably assumes he's playing against, like, Delver. Right. But, I mean, he saw the bears. Yeah. Phantasmal Bear should be a tip-off for him because it's, it's going to be pretty uncommon that you can play bear without the Lord. But we might still see him hedge and bring in one or two Corrosive Gales here. Yeah, I mean, I don't necessarily think bear without the Lord is that bad, though. No. No, I don't think it is, but yeah. that's the natural assumption that I would make if I was playing against Milton, I think. Let's see. I don't think we'll see Disperses. I can't imagine this is the matchup he wants Disperse in. Definitely not. I mean, I'm trying to imagine where you actually want Disperse. Wolf Run, maybe? But ah, it seems kind of bad there. Even then, isn't, isn't Vapor Snag better? As for better? Planeswalkers, it's kind of insane against, but okay. I don't know who plays that deck. Maybe it's popular here in Florida. Um... Maybe he'll bring in the Warden piece. Maybe he'll bring in the Feast and Famine. But in general equipment, I don't think I don't think that's really where you want to be in this matchup. No. Look I mean, the, all the equipment's really bad against these Vapor Snag decks. Right. If now, if you can guarantee they don't draw Vapor Snag, that's one thing. But they're usually going to find it with Ponders, Probes. Yeah, look at this guy playing the feature match behind Jay there. Wow. Yeah, man. He's in the zone. Yeah, he's definitely in the zone. Maybe we'll get you that one after this match finishes. Yeah. So, looking at Milton's deck, uh, in his sideboard, he has Timelies, Stitch Drakes, War and Peace, Dissipates, O-Ring, Celestial Purge, Flash Freeze, Negate, Corrosive Gale, Revoke Existence. He has a lot of one-ofs, a lot of two-ofs. Yeah, he's definitely bringing in the Celestial Purge. Yeah. Uh, wouldn't be surprised if we're in Timely Reinforcement. Stitch Drake seems kind of awesome here. It does. Yeah, like, how does Jay's deck be a Stitch Drake? Uh, Stitch Drake's so good. It is. That's a card that was popular for a moment in time, about two or three weeks. I think I think Jerry T advocated that in one of his articles on Star City, but it seems like it's fallen out of favor a little bit. Yeah. But yeah, it does seem awesome. Yeah, I, I have to imagine we'll see Timely's, Stitch Drake, Celestial Purge, and that's probably about it. That That's six cards. He can side out uh, Gitaxian Probe, probably. That, that card is, might be a liability in this matchup. Although you do need to keep your instant count pretty high for Delver. Yeah, I mean, it's, it's hard to take out Taxi Probe and bring in guys. Right. Yeah, maybe if you're, if you're going to bring in guys and, like, a... Uh, I guess you're probably bringing in, like, Purge and two Drakes, and you're probably taking out... Uh, Looters seem kind of bad here. Would it be ludicrous to uh, to to ever take out Delver Secrets? Probably not. I mean, Delver Secrets definitely worse in this matchup than it is anywhere else. Yeah, it, it seems like with all the fume spitters and tragic slips and also mortar pods going around, that it won't ever get the chance to flip. What what I would almost want to see Milton do is take out Delver's Gitaxian probes, side into a, a more long game oriented deck here. Yeah, with, I mean, I think I think you take out Delver Looter. Delver bring Luger. in like Stitch Drake, uh, Celestial Perch, and Timely Reinforcements. Yeah, that I seems pretty awesome. I think that's reasonable too. We might even see the Dissipates make an appearance, though more likely on the play. Yeah, I don't, I don't like Dissipate on the draw here. No, no, definitely not on the draw. It'd have to be on the play. Millen hoping to uh, get back into the top eight here. Yeah, he looks like he's well on his way, 1-0, and up a game in round two. And 
And if he can get a draw like he had last game again, he should be able to take this one. Yeah, the last I saw of Milton uh, was for his winning in the round before top eight. He had uh, four flip Delvers on turn four. Whew. Yeah. Yeah, it looks like Milton finally discovered his paradise. <laughs> that one. The insectile aberrations. Oh. So it looks like Jay mulligans, but Milton keeps. So Jay's on six right now, Milton's on seven. Yeah. I think Grimgren's really good. Grimgren's definitely a car that could see some constructive play over the next little while. Really? I mean, I just... It I think it's, it's definitely a car that... It's I don't think it's a car that people look at and are like, oh, I'm going to put this in a deck. But it's a card that's going to end up in decks and going to end up being really good. Yeah, it, it, it's not very good against Vapor Snag. But other than that, it's really powerful. Somebody's uh, laughing about the Delvers having not flipped. But actually, you know, the Delvers are only one in four to flip. And, you know, we always see Delvers flipping. I'm like, it, whenever I play against Delver decks, they always flip their Delvers right away. But those things don't really flip as often as you'd think they do. In the Esper deck, they flip a lot. Yeah. It just always seems like they do because you only remember the games where they flipped Delver on turn two and you had no shot. Yeah. So, Milton Probes. Uh, I think he saw three lands tragic slip image. And, and an obliterator. And, a, and an obliterator. So, two lands tragic slip image. All right. So, Milton already on 18, but knows Jay's hand and has a phantasmal bear. Milton will cast a Lorwyn Ponder. I like the Lorwyn Ponder. It gets a lot of hate, but I think it's pretty cool. It's the original. Right. You know. Something has to be said for the original. I, but, but I also like Milton's Islands. He has some nice portal islands. Classy lands. So he'll shuffle off the Ponder. Not liking what he's, what he's seen in the top three. Try and find something a little better. that people uh, don't shuffle often enough with Ponder. No, they, they definitely don't. You shuffle like half the time. Sometimes you just really want to find one particular card. And here we'll see another bear. So Milton already with four power on the board to Jay's none. Uh, I mean, bears are, uh, you know, normally, uh, you know, solo type of guys. Mm -hmm. you know, they just go out around the forest by themselves trying to get food. It's rare that you'll see bears working together like this. It's kind of uh, something, something that's surprising to see. Well, when the zombies come, you know... I guess the bears, bears have to yeah, band together exactly. in order to feed the zombies. Exactly. That makes sense. Classic nerd lore, you know? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> the zombie apocalypse. So Jay, with, without a play on turn three uh, so far, thinking about his options. Phantasmal imaging, a bear wouldn't be the worst here. It would stop the bleeding. And that, that's what he does. And Phantasmal Image does not target. Usually an advantage because, you know, you're trying to kill a Geist of St. Traft or a Thrun the Last Troll. But here it's actually a disadvantage. Yep. Gets to see a hand of Tragic Slip, Phyrexian Obliterator, and two Swamps. I'm surprised he hasn't used that Tragic Slip. Yeah, I, I think Jay has a, has a little bit of a misconception about this match. He thinks he's the beatdown. But uh, I don't think that's the case when you have things like think that's the case Obliterator, Drops, Messenger. He just has better late game than the blue deck. Mortar Pod just provides such great, great inevitability with Gravecrawler. So Milton sitting on Geist, Geist land. He's uh, Ponder. Ponder. I think another land and some sixth card. I'm Dre, uh, Jay here. I think I just trade and then Tragic Slip. Yeah. I think so too. But yeah, let's take another two. He and all like that little bit of bleeding, all all that adds up really quickly because you get to a state of the game where you know the the vapor snags just can just engineer a turn where you can just crack you for a ton and then you're dead. Right. You, those early life points are surprisingly important. Like normally 
you know, historically when you've been playing Magic, you're probably like, oh, you know, I can, I can take it. I can take hits until I'm down to six against this blue aggro deck, and I don't really have to care because as soon as I gain control, it's fine. Because it's a blue deck. What reach are they really going to yeah. have? But, oh, oops, Vapor Snag. Innocuous yeah. little card from New Phyrexia. I'm sure that uh, RNG didn't expect that one to have as much of an impact as it actually ended up no. having. I'm sure not. So now Jay will tap out for Obliterator and cross his fingers. Those Phyrexians. <laughs> Nasty. That now, card. Does Phyrexian Obliterator obliterate Phyrexians, or is he a Phyrexian that obliterates? I think he's uh, a Phyrexian who obliterates. Okay, I appreciate that. Yeah. It's a little bit unclear. So Milton will try and find a Vapor Snag. Definitely needs one against that Obliterator, because right now I don't think he has an answer to it. Uh, well, I think that's a Celestial Purge at the top of his deck. Okay, I didn't quite make out what it was, and yeah, it looks like it is. Yeah. Mil Milton plays an island and will purge it, masterfully drawing the one Celestial Purge off Ponder. Yeah, he's shuffled with the one Ponder, too. Yeah, he did. And, you know, that's the thing about these blue decks. You can say, oh, it's a one-of, it's a two-of, you had to get lucky to draw it. But when you have ponders and probes, your deck's a lot smaller than your opponent, and you see a lot more cards. Yeah, it's something that's really interesting about these decks. You, know, you can change one card in the deck, and it'll just massively change your matchup. Oh, definitely. And uh, Jay's <laughs> dead on board right now. He has the tragic slip, so he's not actually dead. But, uh, but he's dead. He's dead. He's going to two here after he casts the tragic slip on the bear. And the Angel's going to kill him. That'll leave him with very few outs. Uh, only something like a Geth's Verdict off the top will uh, will save him here. And that's only if Milton has no more creatures. And see, he actually, that that was the bear that he could have killed on turn one with that tragic slip. Yeah. And I mean, that was just, that was the fifth time it was attacking or fourth time? Fourth time, I think. So it's already hit him for six. I'm pretty sure that so bear dealt him two six. where he would be at eight. Yeah. Kind of just killed it right away. Now Jay yeah, is dead. Jay's gonna pack it in, yeah. With Moreland Haunt, Lord of the Unreal, yeah, there's the handshake. And it looks like you wouldn't have won anyway, even if you had done the tragic slip earlier. Right. Drew a few too many lands. Milton's hand was very good. So Milton takes it down two to nothing. The virtually mono blue 